the fuck, what the fuck you talking about? Uh, T and Slim back again, and today we're gonna be discussing uh, Kanye West epic rants <laughs> over the last two weeks. Now, his album, uh, whack album by the way, uh, <laughs> uh, the Life of Pablo just came out. And personally, I believe all this shit is a pub stunt. First, you do this shit with Wiz. Okay, cool. You shit, you flexed on Wiz, talked about uh, his kids on, on the fucking internet. Okay, cool. Then, you gotta you could go through an epic rant on fucking Saturday Night Live. Then you got another rant last night at a concert. Then, you get on, he gets on Twitter and endlessly tweets. Kanye never tweets. He tweets like... Three times a year, if that. He's rambling on on Twitter all day about all types of stuff. And I personally, to be honest with y'all, I think Kanye Kanye's gonna blackball himself out of the industry, and I think that he's gonna get punished for it somehow, some way. What you think, Slim? Man, I think Kanye West is being Kanye West. I mean, in yeah, the rants and all that, man. Sometimes you gotta take Kanye's like a. You know, like Coke. You know, you drink too much, it'll kill you. You know what I'm saying? You take a little bit in, you good. I mean, like, Kanye just being Kanye. That's, that's the way I always look at it. I mean, some sometimes his rants, I think people take him too fucking serious, man. He's Kanye West, man. I mean, like, when he got on Sway, you know, the whole... <laughs> you ain't got the answer, Sway! You ain't got the answers, man. You ain't got the answers. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no hold up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, he's gonna be Kanye. I don't know. I ain't mad at Kanye. I, I'm a Kanye defender, man. Well, I mean, I okay, look. Kanye is a genius to me. Ain't no doubt about that. He's a fucking genius. But, however, the geniuses are always crazy. And this is exactly why him and Dane Dash could never be together. This is because like, both of them motherfuckers will black them all their way out of the industry. They can never be together because you got to have, I personally believe that Jay-Z calms Kanye down, he puts Kanye in check. You can't have two reckless niggas just running amok like that with nobody to put put him in check. You just can't do that. Yeah, you're right. I mean, Jay, that's why Kanye signed with you. Because Dame, Dame and him are just alike. You can't, like, I, I, I always say this. Kanye is the Tupac of this generation. And if, let's say Kanye signed with Suge Knight, he will act the same way like Tupac. This nigga is a Looney Tune. Like, that's what he do. But at the same time, yeah, people probably thought Pac was crazy. Pac was ranting. Pac was, this, this is really reminding me of Pac before he died. And that's the, that's the thing that I'm scared of. I, I, look, man. If Kanye die, it's gonna be. It ain't gonna be because he got shot up. It's gonna be some mysterious conspiracy theory. Uh, you know, yeah, uh, drug, drug overdose, overdose. Yeah. shit like that. Yeah. I mean, look, the Kanye we used to love, man, like graduation, dead and gone. College dropout, dead and gone, man. Late registration, dark, beautiful, twisted fantasy. I, I, I think that Kanye, it, it's over, man. Yeah. You know what I mean you 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 only get a certain amount of run in hip hop anyway. Yeah. And the run he was on, we talking about this guy got five classics, five of five, and he got five game changers. So not only was they classic albums, they was game changers. Now that's a difference when you got like some niggas got classic albums. Like Lupe got classic albums. They not game changers. Like. Kanye dropped five game changers. You just, you just talk about game anymore. changers has in album that shift the entire hip hop culture. That influenced another generation. That influenced a whole new musical style. And nope. you just, you just not about to get that no more. And then on top of that, the difference between Jay and Kanye, where Jay could drop twelve albums, but his content never changed. Yeah, he never. Jay never took risk music. Right, right. So at the same time, Kanye has taken risk at the risk at the risk at the risk. And then after a while, when you not inspired like you was before, I think you get lazy with your music. And you can see his music. I mean, Life of Pablo to me was a good album. But at the same time, it was whack. 
But no, nah, it's a good album. Y'all niggas man. But uh I think niggas' expectations of that album was too high. I didn't have none. I, I Kanye gave me everything I need. You know what I'm saying? But we but just like other people say, I put Kanye on a high standard as we should. We no, should we should. Not yeah. on your seventh album. This is seventh album. Kanye is every bit well, he's every he's our artist in every sense of the word to me. He is a fucking artist. And what I will say is he's not relevant. I mean I can say not relevant. He may not be all that good uh lyrically, but however musically, a lot of people can't say that. He's that untouchable. They move, untouchable. Untouchable. A lot of people can't say they move the entire fucking culture. Untouchable. Like, untouchable. But it, but at the same time, no, he's not a lyricist, but Kanye got one of the greatest flows of all time. He his humor, his 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 wittiness, yeah, his cleverness, and then not only that. You gotta judge him not only on the the lyricals, the, the, his lyrical ability, but then you gotta talk about his lyrical content. Cause not a lot of people have a better lyrical content than Kanye. Right. Kanye gave you songs like Roses. You know what I'm saying? Bring Me Down, Addiction. All um, falls down. All falls down. Jesus walks. Um, the whole Eight Oh Eight and Heartbreaks album. I mean, uh, Devil in the Dress. He gave you different topics and different conversations, and he allowed artists to not just talk about money, hoes, cars, and clothes. He allowed some of y'all niggas to get in y'all feelings. Yeah, I mean, Kanye West, even even the Big Brother song. I'll, and you know what? I don't think we appreciate Big Brother because how many artists is, how many rappers, we talk about rappers, is like, you know, this is the biggest uh, alpha male sport, you know what I'm saying, outside of basketball. Football. Like, outside of basketball football. where where it's really competitive of who's the best in football you can't really say oh I'm the who's the best running back because the running backs don't play each other well I'll say that in terms of hyper masculine yeah alright whatever but uh look, look but uh like, that's, that's steroid shit um look back to what I was saying Basket, basketball and, and rapping is the biggest alpha male sports where it's mano and mano, who's the best. And, 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 and um, when you look at it like Kanye West, like for him to make a song about another rapper and to talk about um, his his struggles and, and how he inspired him. Yeah, exactly. No, no other rapper would do that. You know what I'm saying? So. Kanye West, and this is a guy you're competing with over who's the greatest. Right. So at the same time, you know, Kanye West it, it is, he's a genius, he's brilliant, but I think it's coming to a point right now where I don't think he know who he is anymore. I, I think he's, I think he's kind of insecure in a way. This, it, this must be something going on behind the scenes with him, man. I mean, something that I love. That the public doesn't know. Yeah, but see, this is another thing. This is why we love Kanye. Everybody talking about his rants is crazy, but that's what made him who he was. Yeah. You gotta understand, Tupac. It wasn't just the music. It was the interviews. My big mouth. <laughs> my big mouth. I got a big mouth. Can't help it. I talk from my heart. I'm real. You know what I'm saying? Whatever comes, comes. The, the ranting. The antics. Yeah, Pac had the same antics. Pac was still, Pac was on bullshit too. That's my premium white trying to control Tupac. Tupac was losing control. That's my new staff. Hey, have a good summer. Have a good summer, Piat. Pac would have did the same thing. Pac would have got on TV and said George Bush don't like uh, black people. Pac would have. Pac was the one who who sparked the mind of the the next people to come, which was Kendrick and the Kanye's and those type of artists. You know what I'm saying? Kendrick Moore rants and raves, and his antics are in the music, though. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I mean, I think Kanye West is is one of the greatest rappers of all time. Of all time. He's probably the greatest artist. 
The only one that can catch him as an artist is Kendrick Lamar. That's it. That's it. Huh? Let me ask you this. Do you think Kendrick can, can move an entire, change your entire uh, culture in terms of the way the, way the music is? He way did it twice. Is. He did it twice. Oh, wait. Yeah, you're right. He good did it kid, twice. Man City. Right? A good kid, Man City came out. Everybody started making their albums like a story, like kind of like cinematic. Yeah. Yeah. And then on top of that, you notice the lyrical content has changed. People are rapping better than they was before, after control. Then on top of that, uh Kendrick made critically acclaimed matter again. So now it didn't matter. He didn't matter for a while. Nobody gave a fuck about how many stars you got or how many you know nobody cared. and that what that mean is nobody cared about the content of their music they just they just say all right if you buy it we we gonna we gonna sell it to you yeah so whatever bullshit you like we gonna come out with bullshit but now people are starting caring about critically acclaimed and to pimple butterfly has changed the culture in so many different ways the effect hasn't hit just yet but it's coming because you see it's the pimple butterfly that inspired beyonce's performance don't get that twisted Yes. Don't get that twisted. That's right. That's right. And then on top of that, um, Kanye, the only song on there where he actually rapped for real was the one with Kendrick. Yeah. On his album. Because he, he had to break it lyrically somehow because he was with a, a real lyricist. And, and I'm, he had to break and it. And I'm telling you, man, to Pebble Butterfly, I'm telling you, it's affecting people because watch J. Cole's next album. Watch Drake next album. Watch, watch them try to talk about some substance. Because in all reality, it's some real shit. Kanye West is the greatest rapper of the 2000s. Let's keep it real. Well, you know the stands in the comments are going to say, No, Jay-Z. No, no, no. Jay-Z is, is the greatest of, like, nobody had a greater run than Jay. Drake, Jay-Z is a dynasty, but when we look at it, whose albums affected, the, Jay has one album that affected the 2000s, and that was, that the, was blueprint. the Blueprint. The first Blueprint. That, that was the Blueprint. Yeah. But who produced that album? Kanye. So you give Kanye that credit. Yeah. Then, college dropout, late registration, graduation, graduation, graduation 808's Heart. a heartbreak. Dark Twisted Fantasy. Dark Twisted Fantasy came out in 2010. Yeah. So from 2000 2010, nobody affected rap more than Kanye West. Now, if we look at the 90s, you got the greatest rapper was Biggie. The greatest artist was Pop. But Kanye West is the best rapper of the 2000s. I'm keeping it real, man. But going into this 2010, Drake was looking like the chosen one. Kendrick just stole the decade from you, dog. He stole it. Like, really low-key stole it. Stole it? No, he took uh, it. Really, in all reality, the casual fan knew nothing about Kendrick Lamar until Good Kid, Man City. They, didn't know, they didn't know about Section Facts. 8. They didn't know nothing about Section Shit, 8. Shit, a lot of niggas didn't know until Control. Bro, yeah. But when you look at it, from Good Kid, Man City... To control, to, to pimple butterfly. I mean, he's already dominated the first five years. Yep. He's dominated. No, no. nigga, it's not even five, nigga. Yeah, I mean, in, in 2012, the, 13, so it's like, he got like, no, three, no, but that's three or four. How long he rapped, I'm just saying from 2010 to 2015, oh, okay. he's dominated just those five oh, years. Oh, you're talking about so far into this decade? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got yeah. you. He got, dude, he has the two classics and he got the control. Control changed rap. Mm -hmm. Control put battle rap back, battle on, rap back on. In a way. Because battle rappers was jumping in on control. But, I mean, that's another topic. But at the same time, I mean, Kanye, West, I think we really need to sit back and just, just like Kobe Bryant right now. We appreciating his his moment and we know Kobe ain't the same Kobe. Yeah, he shouldn't he shouldn't retire last year though, but that's another story for another but video. Kanye West, we need to start appreciating him like Kobe. Yeah. Like like instead of judging him on on the status of 
Dude, Kanye don't got drop no more classics, man. He really don't. He don't, man. No. He, he gave he, he gave he rap. Himself. He gave rap all he could give. Kanye might got it. Let's say let's say this album is whack. Let's just say it just say for sake of argument. But it's yeah. not though. But let's say it's whack. Let's say Yeezus is whack. Yeezus is whack. I give you that. Let's say Yeezus whack. Let's say uh 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 the life of Pablo is whack. Let's let's just say that's whack. He still gave you five classics. Name me a rapper that that, that, that gave you five classics in a row. In a row? Jay didn't even give you all five classics in a row. No, but time out. Jay don't got five. Jay got three. Yeah. Reasonable Doubt, Blueprint, one. and Black Album. Mm -hmm. I mean... Who's there a Black Album classic? Hell yeah. Uh... What? That's another story for another what? video. What? Nigga, yeah. that, that was Jordan pushing off and then the fadeaway jump shot on Byron Russell, nigga. Oh, my one criticism of the album. Man, what I, more can I say shouldn't have been the last track? If that's all you can say, it's a <laughs> fucking classic, dude. Uh, dude. And take Justify My Thug off of Black it. album is crazy. Lyrically, you, what? Black, Black album is a classic. Jay the first rapper to retire. You know what's be honest with you? I want I want an American Gangster to be a classic or a classic so It was bad. one play, song play. away. It was, fucked up. It was one song away. But, fucked up. But all right, but I don't think even if it wasn't, you American Gangster was based on the movie. Yeah, you know? that's another reason why I kinda can't put it you in a classic. Saying? But it yeah. no great album. He was literally rapping the whole movie, but the album yeah, yeah, but production. It, oh, great man. album. Great album. But that was his last great album. Jay got way. three classics. Eminem got one. One. He got two. Wait, he got one. He got two classes. He got one. One. He got one. Eminem show won't go down and hit. I think Eminem show is a four and a half out of five. I think Slim Shady's a four and a half out of five. So what you ain't like about the Eminem show? It was too commercial. That's when he no, got, no, 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 that's no. when he got mainstream, mainstream. No, but he, I mean, every nigga go mainstream. I mean, you trying to sell records, but at the same time, I think Eminem, Eminem show had some bad songs on there. Yeah, he, he had some. He, he had some classics. Yeah, he had classics on there. Cleaning out the closet, Superman, Superman Square, Square Dance uh, was raw. Uh, 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 my uh, scene for the moment. Scene for the moment, um, classic. Uh, Till I Collapse with Nate Dogg. Yeah, but he had, he had some bad song. I mean, Marshall Mathers is Eminem's Mona Lisa. That's his blueprint. You know what I'm saying? That's his Mona Lisa yeah. picture. That's his perfect album. Man, that was his second album. You know what I'm saying? Slim Shady is not a classic. It's not. No, Slim Shady LP, that wasn't a classic. So, look, Eminem got one. DMX, one. Dark, no, one. No, I his first know. album. That's I don't it. know, cause a lot of people consider uh Flesh and My Flesh a classic too. But that first no, it's album, not, man, it's it you gotta think it gotta be the impact of when the album comes out and who it affects though. So, like we like get rich or die trying. Classic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like we you, like class to me classic just gets thrown out just a little too much. Yeah, it's it's classic's been thrown out a little bit too casually. I, mean, I hear niggas talk about Gucci records a classic. I'm like Alright, like for example, <laughs> pop Pac's classic might be. Pac's best album is Me Against the World. That's his best album. So but, you didn't like All Eyes on No. Or, or you just that will be you didn't his, like all. No, that will be his classic album. Because mm -hmm. the effect it had. Because All Eyes on Me created the 50 Cents, the Ja Rules, the Gangs, the, the Rappers, you, the Game. The impact of that album. Because look, understand, just because it's classic don't mean the album has to be perfect. It's the impact it has on the game itself. Oh, it's the overall impact. Man, you gotta think, Black Album, how many people sampled those songs mm -hmm. and used those lyrics and he created Best Rapper Alive. But yeah, Jay created the uh, Best Rapper Alive title, so, I mean, without Jay saying that, Wayne wouldn't have been motivated to go on the run that he went on. Mm -hmm. So also, like, Like you look at Biggie, Biggie got two. Pop, even though Me Against the World is his best album, All Eyes on Me is his definite classic though. Like, Cause that's the one that had the most cultural impact mm -hmm. and effective, you know, rap. Cause I mean, you wouldn't get the Jeezy's, the 50's, um, the Ja Rules, 
So, I mean, Kanye's definitely going to go down as one of the greatest rappers ever, man. We just got to appreciate the time that he's here. We got to appreciate him, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got to appreciate him like he's Kobe Bryant. Yeah, even though Kobe Sharon retired last year. But, yeah, um, yeah, man, you got to appreciate Kanye, man, because it's not a lot of cats out there that are that have the title artist and and it's culturally culturally significant. I mean, hey, Kanye is the what what twenty one Grammys, yeah, one, most, most of all time. Hey, he can't, can't nobody nobody can not a lot of people can say that. I think he got he got more Grammys he got more Grammys than Jay, right? Yeah, yeah, he got more Grammys than Jay. And Kanye also, you know, through his features, he gave platforms to other artists like right. Kid Cudi. Right. He rebirthed Common Career. Yep. Temporarily. And he was part of that B album. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, he was a fucking classic. Oh, man. He got, oh, man. He got then, so many classics under his belt. Then, then you know, like, uh, put Nicki Minaj on Monster. That's when people really looked at Nicki. Like, Nicki can yeah, spit. Yeah, like she can spit. You know what I'm saying? So Kanye launched careers, bro. Yeah, Kanye, you, you no doubt, Kanye is a goat, man. He, it, it just... We the the thing you gotta worry about Kanye, he's looking like Pop, he's looking like Pop, acting like Pop, and he's moving like Pop back in '96, man. Yeah. Only difference he don't have an East Coast West Coast beef, but that's not him anyway. Yeah, that's not yeah that that violent beef not in him. But see, my thing about Kanye is, I mean, just like how you say he moving around like the same way Pop did before he died. I mean, look he. He's talking, he's exposing a lot of stuff, he's talking a lot, and you know how those people are when you talk too much, they always find a way to silence you. Either they're going to silence him by money, or silence him, you know, like take, take, him, uh, take him out the industry, or they're going to silence him permanently. And that's what I'm scared about. Well, I don't, I don't think you got to kill Kanye, I think Kanye will kill Kanye. I, 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 Kanye ain't the type of dude that you're going to kill. Real talk. Yeah, he, he like he just might fuck around or off himself, man. What you do is you take away his fame, you take away you take away his music, you take away his passions, and then on top of that, like, real talk. I think what they're gonna do, and I, I'm not talking about no Illuminati shit. This just just media. Allegedly. I'm not I don't believe in that bullshit. Allegedly. Look, what they're gonna do is they're gonna. They're gonna. The media is gonna attack his credibility. Yeah, the, it's not like they already have, but it's going. They're gonna be more relentless than ever. No, it's gonna be. They gonna say the man went insane. Yeah. So you don't take him serious. Yeah. But a lot of shit he say, you know what I'm saying? It be real shit. It just I don't take it serious when the motherfucker gets on the track and says he's gonna uh. Fuck Taylor Swift, like right? come on, man. you know, nigga bullshit. I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. That's a pub stunt. That's rap. Yeah. What the fuck? That ain't no pub. That's rap. Like that's what rappers do. They say offensive ass shit. They call women bitches and hoes and all that shit. Why we act so fucking brand new? Every time a white chick get called something, we gotta be like, oh my god, we gotta go PC on these motherfuckers. No, she's a bitch. It's rap. <laughs> it's not that deep, man. Anytime they call black women bitches and hoes, it's cool, man. They call he call one little white bitch a bitch. Now everybody mad. And rap, I don't know. Rap, rap thing got so PC now. I mean, it started out PC, then they try, and then they and then they 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 did their thing. Now it's back being PC. Now the PC nigga is talking about rappers getting too PC. I, hey, yeah. I'm, I'm hey, I'm not. I'm far from PC. He was PC with the weird shit. Because nigga, I'm not gonna sit up here and I, I won't let nobody talk shit about my kid like that. Hey, tell me, why are you more mad than Wiz was when that situation happened? Wiz was probably high, but anyway. Man, Wiz is a bitch. Y'all sucks. And, and, and I, I, I'll just, me personally, as a hip hop fan, a Kanye West fan, I just would hate for a hoe to bring him down. Or a bitch nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's always a and, hoe. And, and, and you know what's funny? Like, uh, I tell you the other night, that joke hit went over with everybody so hard that I started seeing when I was watching wrestling the other night. They even made jokes about it on wrestling. Like, you know what I'm saying? 
that joke, everybody's making jokes about that Kanye shit. Spears in the ass. Everybody making jokes about that shit. It's so crazy how hard that whole that joke hit because from her. <laughs> That's crazy to me. We done put the hole in the pedestal. It, it, it is, it, we it, put a hole. A hole. It, it, did that, jo that joke become became so uh, relevant in pop culture. The only good All these shows immediately started making fun about it. The only good thing Amber Rose has ever done in this world was give strippers a platform to talk. That, that's it. You know, that's, that, that, that's it. Amber Rose created Cardi B. She created... Wait, who the fuck is Cardi B? Yeah. I'm glad you said that. Who the fuck are you? Say it again. Who the fuck is Cardi B? I don't watch. No, I don't watch none of this shit. Okay. Who the fuck no, is I'm, that? I'm, no, say it again. Who the fuck? Who the fuck is Cardi B? But she got a voice. That's crazy. That's what I'm saying. Amber Rose. Thank Amber Rose for that. But at the same time, like, Ye is is still one of the greatest. Yeah, his rants are fucking crazy. Yeah, so the fuck way. Been doing it forever. Why the fuck y'all mad now? Like, I just think. I love Kanye. He keep it real. He just don't give a fuck. I, I like niggas who don't give a fuck, man. Fuck but, that. But, Say what's but, on your mind. But they don't like the niggas who keep it real. No, of course not. Cause, I mean, look, keeping it real ain't always like, it, it gotta be truthful. But it, it could be like, what you, how you feel. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. That's how he feel. Now, it's there to keeping it real being stupid. Like, B.O.B., you dumb as fuck. You dumb as fuck. That's not, I don't know what the fuck that is. The, the world earth, flat. Yeah. The earth is flat, just what? like your career. Go ahead and fall off. Hey, 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 look, keep that shit to yourself. For real. This old Christopher Columbus 1492 man, ass nigga still Keep that shit, shit to yourself. The earth man. is flat. I mean, like, if you believe that, that that's on you, you know what I'm saying? But keep hey, that shit to yourself, fuck. man. You know what I'm saying? If there's a keeping it real, I'm being dumb as fuck. Right, like, that's right. being dumb as fuck. Kanye West is keeping it real as far as what he believes emotionally. He's blurring the line between keeping it real and being dumb as fuck, though. Oh, man. <laughs> He's gonna blur the line. So he be telling the truth, though. He be telling the <laughs> no, truth. No, no, no. He tell the truth, but the just truth. like some of those interviews, you be telling me like, man, sometimes this nigga, I don't know what this nigga be saying. So you know, but he say little like wild shit. Just like when he said, I'm just as influential as the people he named. Yeah, uh, Stanley Cooper. Was he lying? Pablo Capop. He ain't, lying. he ain't lying. I am the number one most impactful artist of our generation. I am Shakespeare in the flesh. Walt Disney, mm. Nike, Google. He ain't lying. Was he lying? He ain't lying. The most powerful thing in the world is music. I mean, come on. He is influential. He is. I remember back in, 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 in high school. Said, by the way. Motherfuckers bought the two button shirt and popped their collar up. Like, and then some niggas had the double cop. Remember that shit? Yeah. Some niggas had double cop. <laughs> niggas, hey, niggas, niggas, had the double niggas really started wearing book bags. Right. Man, before, we used to put the book bag in the locker and carry a binder. Binder. Niggas really went back there and start wearing book nigga, bags. I wore, nigga, I, didn't, I said fuck a locker in school. I was one of them niggas always with the book bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah he that nigga, man. He that nigga, man. I, I mean, I fuck with yeah. Yeah, he that nigga. And I, I would hate for a hoe. Or fuck, nigga. Or even Kanye West. Don't ruin this shit. So I gotta remember the good shit about him. Like, real talk. I mean, and no, I wouldn't be surprised if Kanye was found dead in the hotel. Yeah, I either, wouldn't. Man, to be honest. I wouldn't. Yeah. So we gotta appreciate him. Quit quit looking for him to make college drop out or late register. Quit, quit looking for He's not giving you that shit. Hey, real talk. This is what I really think he's trying to do. He's trying to chase that high of 808s and heartbreaks. I think that's the album that he really wanted to make. Yeah. I think that's the album he loves the most, and he's chasing that but shit. But see, like I told you earlier, I he had the most trauma and the, well, the most trippy trial and tribulation during the making of that album when he broke off the engagement with his ex, his ex girl, that dark skin girl he was messing with, and his mother dying. Yeah. So right? that, that, yeah, that, that 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 album had a lot of. Yeah, but that's why I think that's what he's chasing. Yeah. That's why he's trying to come up with these new sounds and he's changing the beat and singing and rapping yeah. and ain't talking about shit. Like, I, I think he's trying to chase that high of 808s and heartbreaks, but, you know, lightning only strikes once. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You, you're not going to get it. You're not going to get that. But I'm not going to tell him not to create. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to tell him, like, hey, stop making albums. Like, I mean, let an artist create. That's what, that's what an artist does. But at the same time, 
I mean, my personal favorite Kanye album was Dark Twisted Fantasy. I thought that was his masterpiece. But he might feel like he don't like it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think I like that. But I think he don't like that album because I think he feels like he made the album more for the people. Cause remember he was he was on he was on defense when he made that album. He was eight oh eight of heartbreaks. He, he was had, on offense. Yeah, like he, he didn't have the ball when he made when he made uh uh Dark Twisted Fantasy. Cause Dark Twisted Fantasy really was the album that kind of saved his career. Yeah. Real talk. Because eight oh eight of heartbreak was was a big a big ass risk. That was a big risk. Yeah. So he was on offense. Yeah. Now in, in Dark Twisted Fantasy, he's on defense. So I think he don't like that one as much. But you know, defense win championships. Yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, with all that said, I mean, Kanye is that nigga. Man, I ain't about to hate on that nigga. Now, this nigga might hate on that nigga. No, I ain't hating on him. No, I Kanye, ain't hating on Kanye at all, bro. Go, man. Yeah, yeah I praise go. Kanye up and down for being an artist. I, I praise Kanye up and down. It's just that his mind, man. I don't know. His mind might take, take him someplace he don't want to be. Yeah, true. But at the end of the day, he yay. You know what I'm saying? Yay gonna be yay. And I respect that shit from him. He gonna be yay, whether you like him or hate him. And what I love about yay, you can't be neutral with this nigga. You either like him or you hate him. It's no gray area. And that's real shit to me. Ain't no neutral shit. I never run up on nobody like, you like Kanye? Uh, no, it's either, oh, I, I get it, asshole. You get an emotion, and that's yeah. all you could ask for as a human being. That's all you can ask for. To be a neutral human being, nigga, you not living, dog. Yeah. You not living. If if, if, if a person, if, if you, you walk in the streets and and, 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 and uh, you meet people and you talk to people and I ask somebody like, yeah, you know Joe, and, and then they be like, oh, uh, Joe, uh, uh, yeah, he, he all right. Like, that's not good. That's dog. not good. Man, that's you either want to be loved or hated. You don't want to be neutral, man. And that, and that nigga ain't neutral. And I respect that shit. I love you. Yeah, you keep doing your thing, man. But Word. real talk, if you doing drugs, dog, chill the fuck out, man. For real. That stress gonna kill you, man. If, if they don't first. Yeah, and, and then, man, look. Take your ass in that house and, and chill with Kim and your and, kids. And fuck man. a couple times. And chill with your kids, man. Yeah. Chill, man. Chill, chill out, man. But this, this is a... Uh, what the fuck you talking about? I'm Slim, this is T, and we out, man. Y'all niggas be safe out there.